Hello everyone, today we're going to learn about Sketchpad 5.1. Now this is an online tool that you can use to draw directly within your web browser. So you're going to go to Google, key in Sketchpad 5.1. It will bring you directly to the app with a blank canvas. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is look at all the tools that you have on the left panel. Here you have your brushes, your shapes, your text, your stamps, and your vector fill. You use this if you want to fill the entire canvas with one color. Here you have your colors, and here you have your size of brush. Okay, let's go through what kind of brushes we have. So I need to select my brush tool first, and then I can come to this panel and select the brushes that I want. So here you have your towel brush, your paint brush, crayons, spray paint, even web, and mirror brush. Okay, so we're going to play around with some of these tools. First, I will select crayon. I'll select any color and then I can draw by pressing down my mouse and just dragging it. Okay. If you don't like what you've done, you can click the undo button which is here. So you just click undo. I'm going to try out a few more brushes. I'm going to choose towel brush. Choose another color. And then if I click and drag, I get a long line with a pointy end. If I zigzag my mouse, I can get a wiggly line. I'm going to try stamp and I get a spotted line. I can even fill an area like that. Okay. Now I'm going to also try mirror brush. If I use mirror brush, it chooses a point with like a spider web and I can click anywhere within this point and it will mirror my drawing. Okay, if I choose another color, we can do that. Okay, let's try one last brush. I'm going to try fur and I'm going to choose maybe a red. Okay. And if I hold down and drag my brush in, the, in different angles, I get a line like this. Okay, I get okay. in circles. Okay, so these are all the different brushes that you have. Okay, now let's try shapes. So I can choose a star. All I have to do is click on the canvas. I can choose the color that I want for the star. I can fill it with purple, for example. I can choose the outline as well. Maybe I choose a white outline. And then I can just click and it will give me the color that I want. Now besides the star, I have different shapes to choose from. So I could have circles, radial bursts, hearts, spirals. Okay, let's try this radial burst and I'm going to choose a, a green. Okay, so if I click on that, I'll get my radial burst. Now what if I want to change the size? Go to this select tool, which is this arrow at the top. Click on it and then click on the item that you want to resize. So let's say this. Okay, now once I click on it, I can rotate it. I can increase the size, like so, and I can reposition it. And when you see this bar being highlighted, which says editing, you can click on these three dots, which will give you some options. So you can copy and paste or duplicate this thing that you have selected. So if I click duplicate, I will have another one, which I can then just position again. Okay, 
I can even change the color of the one that I just added. So I can change that to yellow. Okay, to get out of this editing and go back to your brushes, all you need to do is click on any of these other tools and it will go back. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to play around with the text. I will have to select text here and then I'll leave it as black. Here I can choose the fonts that I want. So just click on this drop down arrow. And then you have lots of different typefaces to play with. Okay, I'm going to choose lobster. And then once I click anywhere on the canvas, it's going to give me a box to type in my words. Stay. Okay, once you type in your message, you can click on any of the corners to increase the size of your message. Okay, you could change the color of your message. I could change it to white. You can even change the color according to some of these patterns. So when you click on fill, okay, here you have your solid colors. Here you have linear patterns, okay, I can click rainbow or whatever. And here you have your radial patterns, okay, maybe something like this, okay, and these are some other kind of print patterns, okay. So I'm going to choose linear and I'm going to give it like a, 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 ver a vertical rainbow stripe. Okay, the last tool I'm going to introduce you is the vector fill okay so for vector fill this is something which changes the entire background color and if you click on it you notice that there's only one color palette highlighted so you click on that color palette and you can choose any color so i'm going to choose a dark color maybe something like dark blue okay and then when i click anywhere on the canvas it will change my color of the background okay now that I've changed the color of my background I can't really see my text so I'm gonna go back to the select tool I'm gonna try to select the text then I'm going to go back to my fill I'm gonna choose a plain color perhaps white it's my tutorial on sketchpad I hope you have fun playing around with all the different tools and text editing capabilities of this drawing tool. Now it's your turn to create something with Sketchpad.